20 years ago, I was working in a small school on the Upper West Side. I was 26 and I thought I was smarter and better than they were. <laughs> if they could do it, I could do it better. We started with one student. The poor child has never had so much attention in his life. We were in this old, decrepit, ugly, dark brown space for the first 14 years. We were there for a long time. The school was founded in 1992, and I met the two founders, Laura Belisic and Lori Dubose, um, in another special education school. And I was impressed in the way they wanted to create a place where families were the heart and soul of the program along with the staff. And so they named this school that they founded after their grandmothers, Maddie Gillen and Virginia Brewer, which is how we get our name, Gillen Brewer. I really went with my gut and said, you know, let me go with people who I really think are great and have fun. Um, in this kind of learning environment. In 2005, we moved into this state-of-the-art facility. We were able to design it with the kids in mind. So we've put a lot of thought into our space because we also know that the classroom environment is really critical to our kids' learning. We would not be in this beautiful space if it weren't for some key board members. This is a project that's taken a lot of people. It's what Laura and Donna and Catherine have done. It's fabulous and very heartwarming to see the progress that can be made if really dedicated professionals put their mind to it. I think that what Gillen Brewer is today is still the vision that Laura had when she started the school going back 20 years ago. Today the philosophy is still the same. Gillen Brewer wants the whole family involved in the education of the child. The parents who really find a home here and whose children do really well here are parents that are committed to their child's educational process, where we can really talk about the hard stuff that some people don't like to talk about. You know, we call it a family and it's, everybody says that it's sort of cliche, but it really is a family. We've always been able to work collaboratively with Donna and, you know, sort of do what's best for Maddox and have him move forward and, and make progress. Da, 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 da. It's a very diverse community here, which is really nice. It's nice for the parents. It's nice for the kids. Support-wise, they offer great workshops. The school provides so much. Donna just has amassed a really terrific group of dedicated teachers and therapists and extracurricular activities that really just enrich the whole program. And the whole time I was here, I was always wondering, where does she find these people? Ah, uh, we got it, hold on. No! We meet the students at their level. I do think that there are some really deep personal connections, friendships, that the students appreciate who we are, we appreciate who they are, that there's that integrated experience. It's a really special community in that way. It's unusual to be in a community that is so giving and so caring and so supportive, where I am still learning every day. Um, I love what I do. Where is the rainforest that we're learning about? In Africa. Jonathan's been here about five, six months. Well, I think he's a lot happier here. He is a lot more expressive. He's able to communicate more. He used to be very stoic. And now that he's been here for a few months, I feel like his personality came out. We want to help kids figure out for themselves who they are, what they're good at, what their challenges are, and to be able to advocate for themselves later so that they don't present themselves as I'm a special needs kid. So I think we're still unique in that that's what we're trying to teach the kids. You may learn differently, but you still should be exposed to the same kind of things that are happening in other schools. Okay, maybe the king can move to, to E7? I was worried. Uh, you know, I knew what was going on with our daughter. I knew that Taina needed a lot of help. Not only Taina, but us, because we didn't know how to deal with these situations. She asked us at one point, why was I born like this? You know, why did I have to be born with this voice with a cleft lip and palate? And here she learned to accept herself. And the Gillen Brewer School, she learned, they taught her some self-esteem. I mean, it's amazing to see the changes in her. From the beginning, you know, we saw great changes. She loves her friends here and um, she loves coming to school. When Taina had her surgeries, I remember 
one of the big surgeries. The staff from the Gillen Brewer School showed up to my daughter's bed. You know what that means to a father like me? It tells me that it's a family. It's not just the school here, you know? I think what touches me the most about Gillen Brewer is Donna and what she brings to this school. She gives 100% to this school. She lives it and breathes it. Donna, Donna, Donna. I mean, she is just driven to make the school the best that it can be. She somehow puts together the needs of the school, the needs of the teachers, the needs of the kids, the needs of the families, all in one, and manages to, to be able to meet everyone's needs. She loves challenge, she loves innovation, she loves people with ideas, and if she thinks that you are good for the kids, 110% support no matter what you do. So, she's, she's amazing. Okay, ready? One, two, three. 20 years is not actually that long of a time, and we'd like to see, you know, Gill and Brewer be around 20 years from now. I think we're blessed with our financial condition. I think under Henry's leadership of the board, we have a very strong endowment, which can help us do things that the state Board of Education won't allow us to do. But, I mean, I think we have a good thing going. Whiskers, take a look at his whiskers. He's wiggling his whiskers, yeah. I want to be involved as much as I possibly can. I made a best friend out of it, you know, Laura Blissick. She was a teacher and she decided that she wanted to start a school and she did. I love being part of that and I hope that I will be for a long time. She always keeps kids and families as the heart of our discussion when we talk about the program and she's selfless. I will be forever grateful for how she supported me in my growth and development as an educator. Laura is a person not to be denied. When she gets her mind made up to something, she goes and does it. And obstacles are only things to be overcome, not things to stop her. Congratulations, Gillen Brewer, on 20 years of invaluable service to hundreds and hundreds of families. Congratulations on 20 years, and I anticipate you'll be around for a very, very long time. Congratulations to Laura, who's our honoree, quite properly, on our 20th anniversary. 20 amazing years. A very happy birthday from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. Happy birthday, Gillen Brewer. Happy birthday, Gillen Brewer. Happy 20th year. Gillen Brewer, you rock. So I just want to thank all the millions and millions of people who have been a part of Gill and Brewer from the beginning. My husband George, my mom and dad, my brother and sisters, and all my friends have basically said, okay, if this is what she's going to do and she's crazy enough to do it, we'll help her. Thank you for believing in my crazy idea and really you should walk around here and think, my gosh, this happened because very much because of you. <laughs>